Hey guys, this is Blue Phoenix, aka Urkin Fresh, doing a quick video here today about Sinfire and maintaining a library, a MIDI library. I got a comment last time from Yura. This is Black Magic. MIDI data is built in? Well, unfortunately, it's not built in. And there is an example library which for some reason no longer loads for me. So I'm not too worried about it, but you know how it goes. So it's very easy for me to pull in some MIDI here and start rocking. Well, that sounds fun. All right, so anyway, let's get to it. How do you get this MIDI? Well, there's a couple methods. Uh, there is a free method. So if I go over to your uh, wonderful Google here, uh, I could search on like Mozart MIDI files. And this first site I found was uh, Kunstrefuge. <laughs> Kunstrefuge? And uh, I went to Sonatas here, and here they are. Boom, 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 boom. I just like clicked on uh, this Allegro uh, Ma Maestoso. Now, the thing about this MIDI, uh, this was a 20 kilobyte MIDI file. When I tried to import it into um, Sinfire, it uh, it can't handle it. It's too much. It is too buku. So what I did was I imported it into Ableton. You just drag and drop the MIDI. And uh, Ableton doesn't have to try to analyze this thing. But you can see it's a really big, the Sonata is quite large. It's 260 something bars. Uh, which is, that that's a lot of data. Um, and Sinfire really is trying to do a lot of uh, analysis with that. I can understand why it would hang. So what you'll have to do is um, you can separate this into uh, chunks, smaller chunks here. I've got a 16-bar chunk here, another 16-bar chunk. I actually took the first 16 bars of the Sonata, and I split it into bass and uh, treble. And uh, Rave Kitty is trying to get my attention. He will fail. So the real magic here is you split this up in Ableton, and then you can uh, export the MIDI. You need to crop clip first so that it's only the 16 bars. Otherwise, it'll it'll still shoot out the whole thing. And then you do export MIDI clip. It'll ask you to save it to your hard drive, and it's um, then you very simple. So. I actually created a uh, folder. Let's see here. It's in my uh, C colon studio MIDI folder and Mozart. Um, I'm actually going to delete this Sonata. This is the original. I don't need that anymore. Um, but what you could do, you could chop that up into like 500 bits. And I don't need this Mozart A either. That was bass and treble together. So I've got this folder here, Mozart A Bass and Mozart A High. Now, you can import it directly into your project, but you might want to use this in multiple projects in the future. So what you'll have to do is, uh, if you don't have a library yet, you can do new library, or you could just open uh, your library. You, are, you can try to do this stuff over here in just the side panel, but you can't do a full uh, folder import that way. So... I'm just going to go uh, open my library, which is, let me see here. Urkin Fresh Org. It's not really the original library, so I don't know why I still call it Org. Now, we end up with this this guy here. Uh, this is my library. Can't you tell? Because it says Urkin at the top. Of course, that's my library. So if I go to import, standard MIDI file. And I'm going to pick uh, one of the MIDI files that was in that directory. This is MIDI Mozart. I'm just going to pick the base file and double click. Um, I can actually choose an instrument. I thought I could. Yes, so it's going to try to map this to cello by default. I'm actually going to go ahead and pick, um, I don't want cello, I want just a, a piano, Concert Grand. Now, uh, up here you're going to have import all files in directory and then put in a single folder. Start import. So it's going to go ahead and grab uh, both of the files in the directory and import those into my library. When I was first trying to figure this out, if you're in the arrangement and you do a file import, 
you can't import all of the files in the directory and you, you just won't see that option and you will be very confused and that will be the reason why. You'll see here it created a folder now in my library called Mozart and I've got two things here. One's piano and one is five. I don't know why that is so I will actually just rename this. <laughs> I think this is the treble. Beautiful. Um, and then I'm going to save my library when I close it. So this is a free way of getting MIDI. Uh, grab like all of Mozart's stuff and you'll have more material than you know what to do with. Um, although it may not be appropriate for EDM. It depends on what you're doing. So if I go back and I open the library again, I guess I had to step out, step in, and there's Mozart right there. We're going to throw Mozart over top our wonderful trancey. Uh, I don't know why that's using the Do you know why that's using the cello? Yeah, I chose. I chose piano. Why, man? Why? Right. <laughs> That takes some skill to play that fast. It really does. It really, really does. Let's see. We can just use the same concert grand. These can play on the same uh, instrument, and it works fine. Now for the bass, we're going to select all these notes and set them to bass notes, and hopefully this will sound okay. I'm actually going to mute our EDM stuff for now. <laughs> <Just> <laughs> That is some fancy playing, but you know, Mozart, I don't think he played at 120 BPM. Let's go to 50. <laughs> I see that seems a little bit more reasonable. <laughs> so, anyway. Uh, so that's Mozart, um, and if we want to throw our trance over top of it. <laughs> oh, God, shield my ears, please, please. All right, so that's Mozart. Uh, there's another way to get uh, MIDI. You can pay for it. Oh, my gosh, yes, you can pay for it. Uh, just go to, um, I like Loop Masters, uh, you can, but there's plenty of sites where you can go buy MIDI. I think if you just go to Formats and say MIDI, uh, unfortunately this isn't going to show you things that are only MIDI, but it will show you everything that has MIDI in it. Like a lot of these have samples and also MIDI. Um, the cheapest stuff will be just MIDI. You can also just search for like uh, Piano... Uh, themes and give it a sec and uh, like atmospheric piano themes I think I have these two libraries here this stuff was on sale uh, a week ago not anymore sorry uh, again what you'll do here is you would just buy it uh, download the guy and unzip all the mini to a directory and then in your library you can import that entire folder and then you end up with cool stuff, very cool stuff. Let me see here if I want one with more notes here. Boom. And uh, it's probably going to use a wrong instrument. No, oh my gosh, concert grand. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, goodness. My ears. <laughs> This is using the Lydian uh, progression from before. Hyper edit. Notice that MIDI is, or that uh, velocity is quite quiet. So if I um, just select all and hit the up arrow. Yeah, of course, shift up will change the order of the tracks, not move it a lot. Because that would be uh, that would be kind of what you would want to happen. 
Okay, so there we go. It inches up and, you know, it buffers your presses. So. As much as I rag on the UI here in Sinfire, it really is a great tool in its core. It just got some problems with the UI. Shift up should not change the order of the... Why would shift up move... Well, now it's not even doing it, so I don't know. I would expect to move the... Anyway, who cares? So, uh, yeah, increase the velocity, and there you go. Some of these are really sparse. Uh, I'm not too super pleased with themes eight. Um, the these are a lot better, I think. This sounds familiar, don't it? Let's see, I think I got that out of themes two, and I did use this in one of my songs. The cool thing is, though, once you drag this MIDI in and you rearrange it with your own uh, harmony and chord progression, and you actually like move some of the notes around or shift them around, um, you start to get something that's more your own without having to know how to compose a piano piece from scratch. Anyway, that ended up being kind of a long-winded video, much longer than I expected, but uh, hopefully that dispelled some of the magic around how you get MIDI into Sinfire to uh, give you some material to work with. But hopefully that'll generate some really cool ideas for you as you're making your music. So I hope you enjoy that, and I'll catch you next time.